there's more of a NASA panic. It's the shock of the interstellar object that's hurtling towards our Earth. This was spotted, as we know, by an amateur astronomer. And it's the second interstellar object coming at us in two years. The first one flew by and we noticed it as it was leaving. This one spotted in the beginning of August by an amateur astronomer who built his own telescope, by the way. A young man in Crimea, Yanadi Borisov, found it as he was looking towards the horizon, pointing his telescope towards the sun. Now, why was he observing the sun? Well, a lot of people have recently been observing the sun and they note that there are objects that they find in that area. Maybe this is what he was trying to see, what is out there. Anyway, he spotted the interstellar comet Borisov, that took his name, and uh, it's coming from uh, outside our solar system, obviously. That's why it's an interstellar comet. And it has been confirmed by NASA and other international space agencies that it is an interstellar comet. It's between Earth and Mars, and if you have an amateur telescope, uh, there are a lot of people that have that hobby, and they have taken wonderful... There are people competing with taking images of these uh, uh, sky um, photos, and uh, they get prizes. Some of them, uh, like Borisov, obviously found something different. He found an interstellar comet. And um, it's at us now, and it will be here for at the end of December, definitely. This time with this interstellar comet, they have more time to observe it by the international space stations, the uh, astronom astronomical societies. This is the 2I Borisov. This is the, object, uh, is the second interstellar object spotted that we have known of in our solar system. And the close-up of the object captured in August by Borisov and, of course, uh, confirmed by NASA and also the Keck Observatory in Hawaii. And Borisov is now coming to its close approach in December, passing us at about 190 million miles from Earth's orbit. It's about twice the distance from the Earth to the Sun. The Sun from the Earth is about 93 million miles. That's one AU. And the object has, as they say, a very long tail. The tail, uh, including Borisov the comet, makes a staggering distance, a length of about 12 Earths. So you can understand how huge the tail is. It has a long tail made up of ice and debris, and it stretches 100,000 miles behind it. Yale scientist Dr. Peter von Dukum says, it's humbling to realize how small Earth is next to this visitor from another solar system. Now, because of the fact that Borisov has spotted this interstellar object so far in advance before it comes crossing uh, over our path, at a safe distance, obviously, they have a very long time to be able to observe it from the space agencies before it shoots off into space, into deep space. Comet Borisov will eventually leave our solar system. This is what University of California astronomer Dr. Paul Callas wrote. He says, until then, we should all enjoy the marvelous beauty of our alien comet friend, and uh, even though they've had extensive study and focus given to this object, to this interstellar object, scientists still are clueless as to what Borisov actually is. Because of the fact that it has a tail, they believe it's a comet, an icy object. But right now, many scientists' best guess is that it is a comet, hoping that um, they can study it and it will open the door to answers of, on how comets are formed in deep space. It's mysterious. Now, the discovery of Borisov comes from uh, comes as NASA's Hubble Space Telescope took pictures of Saturn 
and uh, the array of blue, green, and violet color colors. And Saturn's pictures portray the planet in a palette, uh, pastel color like uh, aura. And uh, top of the planet appears to glow in deep blue, violet, blue hue, slowing, turning green towards the equator. And the planet's center, Saturn, appears to be painted pink and orange with some intense yellow streaks. And this, uh, these are NASA images. And uh, also, the planet turns towards muddled green hues, blue and violet, before ending in deep purple color around the South Pole. Now, why is this ring planet with these unusual colors? It's because of NASA's Hubble looking at Saturn in infrared wavelengths of light. And the color shifts in hues, changing the atmosphere density and composition. When the dark purple is in the South Pole, suggesting the big hole has opened in the atmosphere. And the lighter red and orange colors indicate the haze above Saturn's cloud coverage. NASA said the blue colors indicate a clear atmosphere down to the main cloud layer, and different shadings of blue indicate variations in the cloud particles in size or chemical composition, and the cloud particles are believed to be ammonia ice crystals. Now, more about the Borisov intercolor uh, comet, interstellar comet. Uh, the, uh, after this was found by an amateur astronomer, I'm still shocked at that, um, the space agencies told us that they could not spot the interstellar object because the big telescopes cannot be uh, directed and geared and steered to go that low towards the horizon as uh, amateur telescopes, amateur te uh, astronomers' telescopes can go. The big ones are so huge that they cannot be tilted that low. Which means that how can they find uh, hazardous asteroids if they can't tilt them that low? Uh, and this is a huge comet passing us. The Borisov comet is huge. As, as comets are, they're huge. And uh, that's a little bit, uh, to me, distressing. I didn't expect that, but that's what they told us. And also, the astronomers, another group came out telling us that uh, because of the fact that we had two interstellar comets that we, we saw in two years, they said that there will be more interstellar comets being, uh, being spewed into our uh, solar system because they believe there is some kind of a planetary system or brown dwarf uh, beyond our solar system, as NASA has confirmed a couple of years ago. And uh, it's spewing something at us. And these are interstellar objects coming at us. And they believe that we will be having more interstellar comets reaching us into the, even our inner solar system. So this is some information by Sam Whitworth on Express UK with a lot of my comments from the previous uh, details that we were told when this comet was found in the beginning of August and confirmed a few days later by NASA and other space agencies. I'll leave links below for you for this. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. 
and we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.